Well, hi there. Welcome to History Ridiculous. I'm Andy Green. You can call me Professor Greenbean. Think of me as the college professor you might see at Bonnaroo tearing whippets and you swear up and down tried to sell you mushrooms. Today, we're going to learn about Winston Churchill. Uh, I read a disturbing fact that 20% of teens in the UK think that Winston Churchill is a fictional character, like he's from uh, Harry Potter or something. Well, he's not. He's very real, and he helped kick some Nazi ass back in the day. In 1941, when a general asked Winston Churchill for more men to man anti-aircraft guns, Churchill replied, No, I can't spare any men. You'll have to use women. Mary Churchill, who was 18 at the time, and Winston Churchill's youngest daughter was among the first to join and rose to the rank of junior commander in 1944. Winston Churchill was hit by a car on Fifth Avenue in New York City and dragged for half a block, which I'm sure tripped out whoever was driving that car. Like, I swear to God, dude. I think I might have just ran over Winston Churchill. Uh, during the thunderous applause following his famous We Shall Fight on the Beaches speech to the House Commons in 1940, Winston Churchill whispered to a colleague, and we'll fight them with the butt ends of broken beer bottles, because that's bloody well all we've got. So, uh, yeah, he called him how he seed him. Winston Churchill once said that one of life's four essentials is cold champagne, and so he drank over 42,000 bottles of champagne during his lifetime, which is about two bottles a day. The dude was smashed constantly. The other three essentials were hot baths, new peas, and old brandy. So he was trash, dude, pretty much the entire time he's trying to fight off Nazis. A Franklin Delano Roosevelt once accidentally ran into a naked Winston Churchill. When Roosevelt apologized, Churchill said, the Prime Minister of Great Britain has nothing to hide from the President of the United States of America. And uh, I'm sure he probably made some jokes about how his wiener is the Parliament, or maybe he said something like, I believe, Mr. President, the term you're looking for is uncut. Winston Churchill spent Christmas 1941 in Washington as a guest of President Roosevelt. After electrifying Congress with a speech, he stayed up Christmas Eve watching a movie with his new BFF Roosevelt and the Canadian Prime Minister. Then he had a heart attack and just shrugged it off because he's a badass. On request of the family of Sir Winston Churchill, there's always a marmalade cat called Jock in the residence at Chartwell House. Currently, we're on Jock number six. Queen Victoria was famously addicted to cocaine-infused chewing gum, and the rumor is she shared some with a young Winston Churchill. I just would like to talk to you, Queen Victoria, for the next two days straight, if you don't mind. The reason the portrait that everybody sees of Winston Churchill looks grumpy on the uh, $5 note is because the photographer apparently just uh, snatched the cigar right out of Churchill's mouth. Churchill doesn't play that. And that is your history lesson today. On Winston Churchill, now it is time for me to take my pussy and just show it right to the camera. Bitty Jean Green, meow, meow, meow. Come here, babies. Come here, babies. Come here, baby girl. Come here, baby girl. Come on. Come on. I gotta show people my pussy. Come on. Look upon Bitty Jean Green, Professor Bitty Jean Green, a history scholar herself. This is my pussy. There are many like it, but this is mine. That's history ridiculous. It is ridiculous.